Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to continue integration by parts, solving for the unknown integral. And I'd like you to try this integral e to the x cosine of 2x by the same method that we did above. And what you're going to do is continue the integration by parts, or repeated integration by parts, until you end up with an integral that is some constant multiple of the one that you're starting out with at which point you're going to add or subtract that across and then you're going to divide through by whatever the coefficient is and you have your answer there so why don't you give this one a try and you can pause the video and uh, when you come back I will give you the solution for that okay once again how do we know that we're going to use uh, this solving for the unknown integral strategy it's because we have e to the x and cosine so we have exponential and trigonometric and neither of them are going to wind down to zero so we're going to have to use a different type of strategy we start out with u equal to e to the x based on our lipid uh, ordering and dv will be cosine 2x dx so we'll take the differential of u, and that'll just give us e to the x dx again. We'll do the integral of dv, and that will give us 1 half sine 2x. And Once again, you could do u substitution there, but you should notice the derivative of cosine of 2x would be negative 2 sine 2x. The integral of cosine 2x is going to be 1 half sine of 2x and it would be positive. So let's put this together. So we have uv which is 1 half e to the x sine 2x and I'll write that as e to the x over 2 sine 2x minus the integral of v du which is 1 half e to the x sine 2x dx and we can see that we still have a situation where we'll need to do a repeated integration by parts and this time u will still be e to the x now I could make u one half e to the x but I'll keep the one half with the sine since that's the way it was originally and the dv will be one half sine 2x dx we'll take the differential of u and that's e to the x dx we'll take the integral of one half sine of 2x dx to find v and that will be negative one fourth cosine of 2x. So we'll put this together. We still have e to the x over 2 sine 2x and now we want to do minus and you really have to watch out for the signs here uv and uv will be negative 1 fourth e to the x cosine 2x which I'll write as negative e to the x over 4 cosine of 2x and then minus the integral of v du. Now since v is negative, that negative is going to come out and make this integral positive. And I will have 1 fourth e to the x cosine 2x dx and close parentheses. Alright, so I probably just want to simplify this a little bit and take care of all those signs in there. That is s-i-g-n signs. And so I have e to the x over 2 sine 2x and then plus e to the x over 4 cosine 2x and then minus a positive so it's going to give me a negative and I'll bring out the one-fourth integral of e to the x cosine 2x dx which was our starting point once we get an interval that is a constant multiple of our starting point we simply add it over to the other side and so now that'll give us five-fourths integral e to the x cosine 2x dx is equal to e to the x over 2 sine of 2x plus e to the x over 4 cosine of 2x and then plus c. Now then to wrap this up I'm just going to multiply both sides by 4 fifths and I don't really need to include the c inside the parentheses because 4 fifths of c is just another constant and we'll leave it that but we will take away the 5 fourths now from the left side and we have solved for the original integral. Integral e to the x cosine of 2x dx is 4 fifths e to the x over 2 sine of 2x plus e to the x over 4 cosine 2x plus c. And so this is how we do integration by parts solving for the unknown integral. We use this when we have a product of exponential and trigonometric functions together.